Noreen DeWolf. People really know you right now as Lacey on Anger Management, but it's coming to an end. That That's it. Hey, this month, the 100th episode, and then it's over. Yeah, it's coming up this month, and we're shooting it now, so I'm having a very bittersweet week because, you know, it's exciting to finish 100 episodes of the show, but... You know, after two and a half years, you really bond with all the crew and the cast, and I'm going to miss all the people. Even Charlie? Of course. <laughs> Him probably one of the most. I mean, when you're working with somebody for two and a half years, the last thing you want them to be is boring. Mm. And he's so interesting, and he's so fun, and um, he does a great job, honestly, and I, I, I'm happy to say he's my friend. I like him a lot. When Anger Management started, though, that was right after what happened with Charlie Sheen on Two and a Half Men. And knowing maybe some of the stories and what, what happened in, in that situation, was that kind of in the back of your mind going into this, this new show with him? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, he had a big moment in the, in the media right before we started shooting yeah. the show. So, you know, it was definitely on my mind. And I wondered, you know, what it would be like to work with him. But, you know, I've worked with a lot of big stars in different movies and um everyone has you know a reputation and it's, people's reputation is usually different from what they are so you know i think i caught his eye with my skimpy wardrobe <laughs> so we, we got off on the right foot <laughs> yeah like he's, he's a good guy like the thing i like about him is he is unlike a lot of other actors and celebrities where he doesn't really have a filter and i know that puts off a lot of people but at the same time, you have to admire an actor who will just sit there and say what they think without letting their publicist tell them what to say. So I, know, I admire that quality. I mean, at least from the industry perspective, he's probably one of 10 people who would do that, you know? Yeah, well, and of course, it also probably helped, too, is, you know, the fact that you did say the, the skimpy wardrobe, but you have just made <laughs> the list of the Maxim Hot 100. So that's that, that probably... <laughs> That probably helps in Charlie's world too. Probably, I probably got some extra points for all that stuff. So. How does that feel to like to to see yourself in that way? Like you you beat Iggy Azalea. I think she was what ninety six on the list. And you, mm -hmm. were... you know what's funny is that the first time I got on the list was back in two thousand seven, so it was seven years ago, mm -hmm. and I was number one hundred. So I I got voted in in the last place. So um, you know when I told my friends and family, I was like, listen, it took me seven years, but I've moved up seven spots. <laughs> yeah, the, the 93 on the Maxim list is like number one in like the normal people list, you know? <laughs> well, it's a huge compliment. I mean, that's a pretty big magazine and um, it's it's a compliment. And I don't, you know, I don't believe it about myself, but I'm, I really appreciate all the fans that voted for me and um, the magazine for putting me on their voting list. So you know? it hasn't gone to your head yet? Like, you don't, you know, you don't, when you're waiting in line at like a club, you're like, hey, listen, <laughs> I was on the Maxim Hot 100. Like, I'm not waiting in line. First of all, I don't, I don't wait in line in clubs. So <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> <laughs> go through my head. I'm just kidding. There you go. Um, no, I don't know if they would care, but you know what? I should, I should, when they tell me there's no tables when I'm making dinner reservation, I should just be like, well, you're turning down number 93 on Maxim Hot 100. I hope you know that. And of course, you'll do it calmly with what you've taken away from the show Anger Management. <laughs> True. I can just snap on people. Actually, I, you know, playing this character has made me quicker to snap. It's crazy, but it's like it's become such a, a tool for Lacey, my character, mm. like, you know, how, how fast she gets angry that I found myself doing it in real life. What do you find uh, sets you off most in real life, though? What's what's the big one for you? Well, um, people screaming at me um, in the car, mm -hmm. you know, in traffic. I had a guy... Um, I turned left into a parking lot the other day, and this guy gets out of his car and comes up to my window. It's just knocking in my window and just, what are you, a dum-dum? And then he's like, what? excuse me? He's like, I was like, excuse me? He's like, you cut me off. I was like, uh, you had your hazards on, so I didn't know. You know, I didn't know he was trying to go left, so I went around him. But anyway, so he called me a dumb dumb. So even though I'm six months pregnant, I had to get out of my car and start screaming at him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's actually what he called you, though? He goes, are you a dumb dumb? He actually called you a, his, his only thing he could think of was dumb dumb? Uh, yeah, and he didn't know I was pregnant either until I got out of the car. And I was like, do you want me to get back in my car and run you over? Obviously, I didn't see you. He was like, oh, my God, girl. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> I feel like this happened on, like, a like an elementary school playground, like, with names yeah. like that. Well, the whole thing was, like, hilarious. Like, a pregnant girl screaming at, I mean, this guy was, like, uh, you know. <laughs> you ever find that you get in those situations and people will call you, like, really weird things and you don't even know how to respond? Like, some guy called me a doofus the other day. I was walking through a crowd. He's like, hey, <laughs> hey, doofus. I'm like, what is... <laughs> 
I'm not even mad at that. Like, I don't even know. I, I like, kind of, I'm like, I shouldn't probably laugh because then he'll get even more mad. But I'm like, no, oh, I'll just keep walking. Toothpaste and Dum Dum should be best friends. Toothpaste <laughs> and Dum Dum. It's like a kid's cartoon. I, I feel like, if, you know, if you, after anger management, you know, after this 100th episode, we could we could <laughs> pitch something together. Doofus and Dum Dum. We could we'll hit all the networks. You got you got the ins on that. So we're, we're a set. A late night talk show, Doofus and Dum Dum. <laughs> you know? <laughs> this is going to be the worst. It'll just be. I know. Angry pregnant ladies all the time. <laughs> but you are pregnant. You're married. So sorry, fellas. But your husband, though, that's pretty cool. Uh, goaltender for the Vancouver Canucks, Ryan Miller. How did you, how did you guys meet? Are, are you like a big hockey fan secretly or, or what? Well, I was, um, before anger management, I used to be on a TV show called Man Eater. Mm-hmm. And I used to live in Arizona on location shooting that show. In a, well, I was on location for like four months. Um, and the director of that show set me up with Ryan. He was Ryan's dad's best friend. Ooh. And the director happens to be um, Poindexter from Revenge of the Nerds, Tim Bossfield. <laughs> <laughs> Poindexter set us up. Pro hockey players. Hey, I was with the, the famous wives, the celebrity wives, Carrie Underwood, Candace Cameron Bure, Alicia Cuthbert. Do you guys form a club? Do you like all hang out together now? <laughs> Um, I don't know Candace, but Alicia and I have worked together. We know each other from L.A. for sure. We we run into each other and work together. So um, I'll have to reach out to her and see if she wants to do a club. I'll tell her that I'm going to be the president, though, and see how she feels. Another potential show idea, the exactly. the, the wives of the NHL. Well, you know. Did you watch the interview, the, the Jonathan uh, Bernier, when they're talking about Nelson Mandela made the news this week? Do you know anything about this? Uh, yeah, I heard. T- I, I didn't watch it. What, what did he say? He said he was, thought he was an athlete? Yeah, he was at this event for Nelson Mandela, and they're talking about him uh, him after on the red carpet. And he's like, yeah, you know, he's one of the best athletes in the world. And, you know, he definitely inspired me getting into hockey and all this stuff. And, yeah, clearly, like, not the right guy. I mean... Your husband does know who Nelson Mandela is, right? My husband's one of the smarter people that I've ever met in my <laughs> okay. life. And um, I think it's kind of shameful when people don't know who, you know, people like Nelson Mandela are. You know, it's like these are people that shape the history of our world. You have to get out of your own bubble and, and read and learn, you know? Mm-hmm. That's sad for the state of um, professional athletes. I don't want everyone to think they're all stupid, you know? Mm-hmm. No, I don't think we think so. It's just it's funny, but you, those things happen, and then, yeah, it totally does kind of take a hit on... How people see All things. All you have to do is pay attention to what event you're at. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's not. You say I. I saw it for the first time. I thought he was just like on the street, and for some reason they asked him about Nelson Mandela. But he was actually like at a Nelson Mandela event. Like, he, like, like do your homework. Like, he, where, does he speak English? Uh, he does. He's gonna blame it on his French. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I have no idea what he who he was thinking. There's I don't know. Anyway. He's going he's gonna to pretend he didn't understand that. No, Ryan knows who Nelson Mandela is. He's, he, he's super political, reads the newspaper. I mean, he's very involved. He always votes in the, even the most the smallest elections. He's, he's really into it. That's cool. That's very cool. Yeah. And when he's not voting, you guys just sit down and watch, like, your movie Breakaway together? Is that how it works? <laughs> uh, not that one, but, you know. We'll watch <laughs> <that one. laughs> Um, he's seen a lot of my. He's actually you not know, before we met. He'd seen um, one of the movies I was in a sports movie called The Comeback. Okay. So he knew who I was when we when we met, and um, I think he also saw an episode of Chuck that I was in because I remember halfway through dinner he was like, "Oh my gosh, were you the secret agent on Chuck?" And I said, "Yeah." And he was, I've seen that. I think you just put it all together at that moment, you know? Do you ever worry that, though? Like, people you meet now maybe are just trying to befriend you because they're a fan? I hope that's not the case, but... I well, I don't think it is with him, because I think you guys are yeah. d- just have just <laughs> discovered yeah. that already, but you know He's what... He's using me. He's <laughs> using me. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. Like, I, I don't have a lot of new friends, but it's not because of that. It's just my life doesn't... Per- you know, I don't go out and I mean, I mean, friends of my good friends, I always trust those people. A lot of my friends are in the industry. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's always that in the back of your head. Like, why do you care so much about me? Or why do you want to make, you know, a lot of people go out of their way to do nice things for you. Or, but a lot of times it's just because you really like the person, you like the work you're doing, you're artistically respecting them. I mean, I treat other actors with a lot of respect, and especially when I've seen their work and I enjoy them. I have a soft place in my heart for them, so I know how people... I don't judge people for that because I know how it feels, you know? That you're trying to get up the Maxim Hot 100 list for next year. <laughs> I mean, one vote at a time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>
<laughs> You're gonna start a campaign next year. It'll be awesome. I should, but um, well, but I, it'll be hard because I want to bring her on to um, Doofus and Dum Dum. Yeah. And then I'll be, like, interviewing myself on the show, you know? Yeah, you don't want to ruin any opportunities here. But what, what's going on next with you after Anger Management wraps up this month? Well, I'm going to move up to Vancouver. Actually, on Tuesday of next week, I'm moving up there. And I'm going to um, have a baby. And, um, I yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then I'll come back, you know, in the postseason and um, try to get another job. I mean, I've had some offers, but it's too far out for me to commit to anything right now. There's... Mm-hmm still a rumor that anger management might get picked up for 20 more episodes or 25 so i'm kind of i'm in a limbo anyway so it's perfect timing for me to just have that baby you know (laughs) yeah no kidding wow congratulations that's amazing and noreen thank you so much for the time noreen uh plays lacy on anger management right now uh wraps up this month uh thank you again i really appreciate you making the time we'll talk to you soon okay thanks so much